What's up YouTube, it's Rob Stark and in today's video I have an in-depth guide on how to use Dynamike in Barley. Okay, real quick before I get started, I got a table of contents for you all. If you want to look around and skip to different parts of the video, go ahead. Alright, but Dynamite and Barley are two of the best brawlers in the game. They're good to great in every single game mode with the ability to force enemies to certain directions or face punishing damage. Their super also does a lot of damage and also charges up their next super a good amount. Overall, they're very strong brawlers. Now I'm just going to put their stats up on the side for you all to look at instead of me just reading them off. That sounds kind of boring. But as far as how to spend elixir on them, compared to other brawlers, upgrading your super is going to be much more important for Dynamite and Barley. Um, this is especially because their super actually charges their next super a lot and their super in general does a good amount of damage. So upgrading it just makes it do that much more. But overall, I would keep your upgrades fairly even across the board, but I would probably prioritize your super and then attack and then health. Now if they do nerf the amount that their super charges their next super, you might end up considering upgrading attack before super and then going for health. And now for some general tips. So if you're throwing at the edge of your range, you have to throw where the enemy is going to go, not where they are, otherwise you almost have no chance to hit unless they're just standing still. But as you get closer to them, you can start throwing it right at them, but with Dynamite this is going to be a lot harder and you still sort of have to throw it where they're going to go, as his take longer to explode, whereas Barley's are pretty much right away and have a much wider area of effect. Now one good tactic is when you have full ammo, is to try and box them in with multiple shots. I'm just going to call this the three shot technique and I'll probably reference this a couple times throughout the video. But for example, you can throw it to the left to force them to go right and then you can quickly throw it right to either land on top of them or force them a different direction again. And then depending on which way you think they're going to go, you can either throw it middle or even further right. Often this is a good way to at least get one or two hits and it'll push them back and you can start getting damage. Sometimes if you're just throwing one shot at a time, they're able to dodge it as the shots do to have some travel time so it's not going to be instant hits. Now this one may seem a bit obvious but as Dynamite and Barley you really want to make sure you use walls to your advantage. They're the only brawlers that can throw over walls so they're much better behind them. Try to spend most of your time behind a wall to really take advantage of this. As far as using their super, if you ever get an opportunity to get good value with your super as in charging it back to around 40% or more, you always want to take it. It is good to save it for situationally, but anytime you can charge your super up a good amount again, you always want to take it. Now with Dynamite and Barley, if you can be spamming your super, your team has a very good chance of winning no matter what the game mode is. With Dynamite Super, if your target is at the very edge of your range, you're probably going to miss unless they're running into your super. You want to try and have them at least a little inside the very edge of his range. Also try and throw it towards the direction they're running to give yourself more room for air. Anytime you can get a hit with a super always take it as I said earlier as it will charge up his next super almost two thirds of the way which is way more than any other brawler at the least it's the most in the game for the most part. Now with Barley super except in heist when you're throwing on the safe you want to try and throw it a good distance away from your target and this will make it have a much wider area of effect. This makes it a lot harder to escape from and it makes it easier to hit multiple enemies. Oftentimes you can trap them and you can hit them as they're walking through it. Only versus El Primos and Bulls would you maybe not want to do this though since they have so much health and it won't have a lot of effect versus them. Alright now let's get into mashups versus every brawler. So, Dynamite and Barley versus El Primo and Bull. Now, unless they're landing near you with their super, these shouldn't be hard matchups as long as you keep your distance. As a Barley, if the enemy team has an El Primo or a Bull, you should try and stay on them the whole game as this will make it very hard for them to get much damage 
and it gives you easy shots. As a Dynamite, that's not quite as true since he matches up well versus many other Brawlers, especially the mid to low health Brawlers, but it can still be a good idea. Overall, just keep your distance versus these Brawlers and you should fare well. Now Dynamite and Barley vs Mortis. As a Barley, this isn't that bad of a matchup, but if you're mid to low health, it's probably going to be hard to kill the Mortis, except with your Super. And as a Dynamite, this is actually a pretty bad matchup, as Mortis is his arguable hard counter. It's very easy for Mortis to dodge most of the Dynamite bombs, so in general you want to avoid Mortis as much as you can as a Dynamite. I'm going to group up Shelly, Tara, Nita, Poco, and Spike together as these are going to be pretty similar matchups and you're going to act in a pretty similar way versus these brawlers. Now if you can attack these brawlers behind a wall, it's going to be a pretty easy matchup and at the least you should be able to force them back if you don't kill them. When you're out in the open versus them, you have to be careful to keep your distance or they could get your health low with just some chip shots. If they do surprise you in the grass, there's probably not much you can do. You may be able to throw your super, but it might be too late most times. Now Dynamite and Barley vs Crow. This isn't a good matchup for either Barley or Dynamite, but it is manageable. Try to use the three shot technique that I described earlier to kill Crow. If you're often throwing just one attack at a time versus him, he'll usually be able to dodge most of them, especially with his faster move speed. Also, in general, try not to attack Crow too much unless he's coming after you. And now the mirror match, Dynamite and Barley vs. Dynamite and Barley. So vs. other throwers, it's pretty much a game of chicken. You want to try and bait them forward to eventually be walking into your shots. Especially use the three shot technique as that also works well vs. throwers. Versus Jesse, throwers work well vs. Jesse, especially vs. her turret. If Jesse puts up a turret, especially if it's behind a wall, it's often a thrower's job to try and take it out, since usually they can do so from safety. Otherwise, both Dynamite and Barley match up pretty well versus Jesse. Just don't be too aggressive out in the open versus her. Now versus Bo and Pam. Bo and Pam aren't great matchups for either thrower, as they have enough health and range that makes them difficult to take down. Try not to engage them too much out in the open as they will typically outlast you. Either attack them behind walls or mostly just avoid them. They can be a good target for your supers though, especially when Pam puts up her turret, since enemies usually tend to group up around it. Now Dynamite and Barley vs Brock, Colt, Ricochet, and Piper. Now none of these are really great matchups for throwers since often it can be hard to get them to stay within range. But if you can target them behind a wall, they can be pretty easy kills. If you're Dynamite and you see a Brock, Colt, or a Ricochet about to use their super, consider throwing your super at them as often they're going to be walking forward and also it will interrupt their super. Now one thing is try not to use your super versus a Piper that has her super or she'll usually just be able to jump away pretty easily. Now try not to engage these brawlers much out in the open you want to try and just stay behind walls or hide in the grass. Now let's get into some tips for each event type. Let's start out with Smash and Grab. Barley and Dynamite are both solid brawlers in Smash and Grab. They're pretty good on almost every map in Smash and Grab, although Hard Rock Mine is probably their worst. Neither of these brawlers should be the main gem grabber, although they can pick some gems up, especially if it's in order to stop the enemy from getting them. Now you should be able to land shots from throwing at gems every once in a while, this can definitely be a good thing. And this also helps discourage the enemy from picking up gems right away. As a barley and smash and grab, one thing to keep in mind is you want to try and throw your super as wide as possible to cover as much of the map as you can. This will really push the enemy team back and it makes it fairly easy to establish control of the map. Also, both of these brawlers excel once countdown starts as it becomes easier to predict enemy movement and they can be forced into your shots. You can save your super for your team's countdown as this often can be a good idea as it will make it that much harder for the enemy team to approach. As far as team combination in Smash and Grab, I'd recommend pairing Dynamite or Barley with a support brawler who is good at carrying gems like a Poco, Bo, or Pam with an aggressive brawler like Anita, Shelly, Tara, or Bull, 
who can be on their own and deal a lot of damage. And now for tips for Bounty. Bounty is probably Dynamite and Barley's worst game mode, although they're still pretty good here, especially on maps like Outlaw Camp, Groundhog Burrow, Temple Ruins, and Snake Prairie. On the other maps, they're typically still usable, but they're not as good since the walls often get destroyed in Bounty and then they become not as useful. Especially in Bounty, you really try and focus on following around the brawlers that you have the best matchups with. Now, as far as good team combinations in Bounty, in Outlaw Camp and Snake Prairie, they're often good with a close range brawler like a Bull or a Primo, with a long range brawler like a Brock, Colt, Ricochet, or Piper. On most of the other maps, they're often best paired with two other long range brawlers. Now for Heist. Barley and Dynamite are both very good in Heist. Barley's main job on offense is going to be dealing damage to the safe, and Dynamite's main job is often going to be to kill enemies and blow up walls around the safe. With Barley, you want to try and get as close as possible to the safe before throwing your super, as it will lessen the spread of your super and deal a lot more damage to the safe. Now, when on defense, if there are throwers behind walls, it's Barley and Dynamite's job to force them out so your teammates can hit them. You might want to consider blowing up these walls too so your teammates don't need you to force them out. Also when on defense, it can be a good idea to save your super for enemy pushes in order to stop them quickly. As far as the best team comp and heist, with Barley, he's typically best with a Crow and a Colt. But if you don't have Crow, you can use a Brock for long range damage and a great super or a bull for good distraction and good safe defense. If you're a dynamite, he's good with, again, a crow and a colt, or you can use a ricochet instead of a colt, as dynamite pairs especially well with ricochet, unlike barley, since dynamite can open up walls for ricochet. But again, if you don't have a crow, you can just use a brock or a bull. Now for brawl ball, dynamite and barley are also pretty good in brawl ball. Oftentimes, enemies group up or have predictable movement in Brawl Ball, which really allows both Dynamite and Barley to deal a lot of damage. It's usually a little easier to deal a lot of damage with Barley, and he has a bit better area denial, but Dynamite helps blow up walls and open up shooting lanes with his super, which is also very valuable. Now, typically, Dynamite or Barley is going to be near the back line in Brawl Ball for your team. They might be the last line of defense in many cases, so you don't want to try and be too aggressive. Just try and focus on dealing as much damage as possible and preventing the enemy from going where they want, as opposed to focusing on scoring goals. For good combinations, in Brawl Ball with Dynamite and Barley, they both work well with an El Primo or a Bull as a tank, and then often with a mid-range character like a Shelly or a Tara, although you could also use other brawlers like a Spike or a Colt. As far as showdown, this is probably Barley and Dynamite's best event type. With most of the maps having lots of walls, they can really attack and defend well in showdown. And often, they're especially deadly and hard to approach when they're teamed up with just one other brawler. Now, try and get Elixir when you can, but make sure to check for bushes and use walls to your advantage. Dynamite and Barley are especially hard to kill in a team, so if you're okay with teaming, it can often be a really good idea early on. Now, don't try and team up with a brawler that can kill you very fast at close range though, like a Shelly, Bolt, or a Primo, as you never know when they can turn on you. I'll also give a quick tip for countering Dynamite and Barley. Let's say one of the main things is if they're giving you a lot of trouble, try and blow up the walls they're hiding behind. That's really where they excel, behind walls, so if you don't give them places to hide, it's much easier to kill them, and they really can't annoy you nearly as much. As far as matchups, Mortis and Crow are especially good versus them, so maybe use them in your team if you're having a lot of trouble with Dynamite and Barley. Alright, those are all the tips I have for Dynamite and Barley. I hope you enjoyed. What brawler do you think I should do a guide on next? I'm trying to stick to doing non-epics and above for now, so should I do El Primo, Colt, Ricochet, Bow, or Poco? Comment below if you want. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and catch you next time.